Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabbar, I bring you the best in esports. Today we have StarCraft Brood War, this is going to be the Shinhan Winners League. Set 5 of We Made Fox versus Wunjin Stars, this is Tai versus Zero. Tai obviously known as Baby. This is going to be on La Mancha, a 4 player map, replacing Grand Line SE at the bottom left in blue we have the zerg player zero very 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 good zerg player mole traps favorite zerg player i believe and at the top left we have the purple terran baby both of these players very very good this is going to be an exciting matchup they are not at cross positions but at a four player map like this it doesn't really matter necessarily as much uh, we can still see very very big macro style games uh, at the top left and bottom left or the bottom left bottom right or the bottom right top right or the top left top right no matter where you are you can see macro games you can see rush games um, and it's really just up to the players discrepancy on what they want to do looks like we are going to see something like a 12 hatch 12 pool from zero and no cheese going down for babies so both are going to play fairly standard and this is set five so it is a fairly important game usually players try to play straight up in the latter stages especially if they're somewhat evenly matched up which i believe these players are two uh drones coming out for zero so definitely going to go for a 12 hatch 12 pool assuming that the barracks is going to be placed down by baby and other than that, not a lot. I was thinking about any type of announcements that I have. Ooh, I'm playing in the SC2 Combat Tournament later on today. It starts at 6 o'clock uh, Central Time, I believe. So after this cast, i got to start practicing. After I upload this, i got to start practicing. Oh, and about the cast yesterday. So sorry. In the middle of the cast, I was like, crazy Hydra does not look like Hydra, and they aren't even close to the same person. Crazy Hydra plays for Wounds and Stars, and Hydra plays for High Entis, and Hydra's in the p pop MSL Finals. Not Crazy Hydra. Sorry if I spoiled that for anyone, but it, I mean, it's been long enough to where it's not really necessarily a spoiler anymore. But we are going to see a ZVZ matchup in the MSL, and I am going to be casting it no matter what. If I don't get a dual comm with anyone, I'll still be casting it and still bringing you guys some good VODs that way. Drone Scout going out for zero. Going to be scouting... Uh, going to be scouting Baby third if he doesn't see uh, anything from that Overlord. His drone has gone to the bottom right now. is going to the top right. The SCV now scouts the base of zero realizes that he went 12 ooh, I think he went for a 12 hatch wasn't paying attention but he did go for more of an econ build getting that second base up marine now out for baby and baby is actually opting not to go for one racks in a CC type build he's actually going for more mech and more factory play which is gonna gonna be very interesting and uh, probably gonna get a star part also do things like drops and he's got a lot there's a lot that you can do from that factory play you can go for quick race you can go for vultures you can sometimes go for tanks usually tanks are a little bit later but you can go for tanks looks like he's putting a machine shop on that factory so it's definitely going to go for some type of mech play only has two SEVs on gas though that is really particular so not going to go really super intensive gas heavy which I guess you could kind of expect that from a player who is going for medic marines, but not necessarily one that was going for something like factory. Just wants to get enough minerals, probably, to um, really kind of save up, build more uh, marines, is what I, I am guessing, or, or a lot of vultures. Uh, one of those two things, because he's not going to necessarily have the gas that he needs, just trying to get more minerals. Possibly wants to also put down a command center after getting that factory in Star Park. Could do a lot of things, but it's really kind of funny that he's not going to go for um, for that for that third SCV on gas and still not getting the expansion. So this is very very interesting play coming from uh, coming from Baby here. The Zergling tries to get in a scout is unable to do so we see the machine shop spinning and something building out of that starport so very very interesting only putting two SEVs on gas Hydra's den now going down for zero it looks like SEVs are being transferred to the southern position 
Not sure what that is uh, for, actually. Layer morphing in at the natural expansion. And Zero also has gotten another hatchery in his main, so he's going to be at three hatches very, very shortly if he is not already at three hatches um, at, for the time being. Uh, dropship coming out for baby, so he is probably going to do s things like vulture drops, as I said earlier. Going to be picking up these three vultures, putting them inside the base. Sunken's going, Evo Chamber's going down at the front, as well as that sunken there to kind of protect it, kind of uh, just close off that choke almost completely. Don't think that, not sure if vultures can get in there with that hydralis uh, on that left hand side. Might be able to, but that might also be a complete block. Not entirely sure there. Here comes a drop from baby don't think this is going to work though there are hydralis back there these hydralis are not speed upgraded just quite yet uh, so they are going to be a little bit slower in comparison to those vultures especially if he's gone for vulture speed first with that machine shop spinning just doing a ton of harassment but really not doing a lot of damage just keeping uh, zero on his toes is pretty much all picking off one drone might be able to pick off another one oh, not picking off another drone so only one drone kill right there for baby baby still persisting on this attack with these vultures now has the minds that he's going to be able to lay down and possibly kill a lot of these um, a lot of these hydralists but he has to remember that overlords do have sight over those things and they can be killed by those hydralists in mass killing ooh three more uh, drones and that's huge killing drones is huge in TVZ play because the Zerg player really needs those dr drones, really needs those larvae. Not necessarily as important in StarCraft 2 as there is inject larvae and spawn larvae and stuff like that. Another Hydra falling to a mine, but in StarCraft 1, killing off drones is just absolutely huge. We do see Cloak being researched at that control tower. Uh, it looks like an engineering bay is going up as well. I believe that. Baby is very, very soon going to have that second base up and running. And honestly, he's just in a very, very good position. If Zero would have moved out with those Hydralists, he might have been in a little bit of trouble. But since he was harassing, since he did do that Vulture harass, he was able to keep Zero back in his base and back at bay. Now, we did see those two Scourge come out. There they are, possibly to pick off some dropships. Also, he might have seen some of the race. Don't know if he exactly knows whether Cloak is being researched or not, but needs to be very, very wary about the Terran mackering up, especially now that he is at the second base. Here comes the Scourge above the dropship! Oh my gosh, the dropship goes down! Absolutely terrible. Don't know if it had anything in there, but still, just losing those dropships, not really what you want to happen. It looks like a Vulture is trying to prod into the base of Zero, unable to do so. Bunker at the front still has not gotten that gas, so really playing kind of a low gas game is Baby, surprisingly. At first, got it getting one less uh, SUV on his gas, and now not even getting his refinery up yet. It looks like he's trying to just macro up Marines and units that are low on gas, but I don't really like this play. Vultures trying to get stuff like that, but really, um, I mean, it's doing him fine. I just don't know how he's going to defend against this mass hydralis push that is bound to happen. Putting out missile turrets in his base as he knows the spire is up. Getting out siege tanks, and now that he's starting to get out siege tanks, he's going to definitely need that second gas if he wants to start macroing up like a Terran player should. Here comes more Scourge, probably getting picked off by those rays. Very nice micro by Baby. Something, oh, mine's getting picked off by those hydralisks of zero. The SUV is definitely in range. Probably should kill that SUV just for spotting purposes um, and does so effectively. Surprised that zero has not taken another base. I guess really he doesn't have the mobility that he needs to take another base because wraiths against hydralisks, the hydralisks are going to win, but the wraiths are just so much more mobile uh, than those hydralisks are. And so if he tries to take another base, the wraiths are just going to do absolute total tear on him in terms of harassment. He has very uh, he is at a very good economy and I wouldn't be surprised if he is actually a lot ahead of uh, the Terran player in terms of uh, gas production and stuff like that. Here comes a mass hydralis push. Don't think that this go oh my gosh! Oh that's definitely not gonna work. That is definitely not gonna work. Those two mines just killing like seven hydralis. That must hurt being baby because he definitely did have a chance without those mines being there. Definitely had a chance of breaking that. There was those siege tanks in the back so it would have been close but oh man that hurts just 
so much carnage from just two mines and that's what I was saying mines are just so effective you really need to get overlord uh, overlords in there and you really need to get overlord speed because without it you were just absolutely screwed man he does have overlord speed now and it looks like he might possibly be going in for a drop. Missile turrets just barely forming. Here comes some step up marines. The marines kill the overlord so, so quickly. Able to uh, drop up a few hydralists. Lurkers trying to morph in, but not able to do so. And Zero looking like he in, is in a ton of trouble. Because Baby is just on top of his game. Doing a ton of harassment. Able to pick off this overlord. Going to make him spend his larva on overlords and not hydralisks. And he's going to be absolutely screwed. I definitely think that he is ready for this lurker push. That Zero is trying to put on here. And honestly. He's just macroing up doing so well. Um, really could take another base if he wanted to. Not necessarily. He doesn't really necessarily need to. Zero is taking another base at that six. Uh, but I mean, baby, just utilizing his cloak and utilizing his mobility, doing a very, very nice job picking off drones at this natural expansion, and that's definitely going to slow down Zero considerably. Doing a very, very nice job. We do have about six or uh, five lurkers at the front of baby's base, but it's really not going to matter all that much. He has comm sets, he has tanks, he has bunkers, he's definitely going to be ready for this. And we saw, I believe, some Terran player versus, um, maybe, it wasn't Jadon, but it was some ter uh, some Terran player versus some Zerg player. The Zerg player brings in like 500 lurkers and none of the bunkers went down. He had like three bunkers at the front and none of the bunkers went down. Absolutely ridiculous just going... I think it was actually Jadong. I think it might have been Jadong going for that lurker because he's, he's been doing that lately. He's been going for that kind of big lurker uh, push, the lurker ling push that he goes for, which is pretty much an all-in when you go for that off of two bases at that point in the game. And just really going all in on it and not working, unfortunately, for him. Almost unplugged my mic there when I was doing that with my chair. So if you guys are commentating, try not to lean back in your chair because you might unplug your mic. Here comes a push from Ty, and this might be it. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Just so many medic marines seizing up the siege tank. These lurkers are going to have to get the heck out of there. Two shots of free carnage going on. Hydralis moving in yet again, but I don't think he has enough Hydralis to really reinforce this, especially with the siege tanks at the back. Siege tanks unseizing and just pretty much moving in his forces. Just absolutely dominating Zero. Really, Zero's just going to have to keep backing up, keep backing up. Irradiate going off on one of the lurkers. Comsat going down. Able to pick off a considerable amount of Marines, though. Wow, a lot of Marines going down in that exchange. Four lurkers going down as well, but that was a lot more Marines dying than I was expected. Almost picks off that overlord. Probably could stim and uh, pick it off, but really just going for this SK Terran-esque build there. And Hive Tech now uh, up for zero, so he's going to get that Defiler's Round, going to get the Swarm, and it's just going to come down to if he can hold it off until the Swarm gets there, then he might be able to hold off this push, but this push is just so powerful, uh, zero just, I mean, baby just keeping his macro up, keeping streaming, keep, uh, uh, he, he's streaming units, is what I'm trying to say. Keeping streaming units. Here comes another engagement. Zerglings at the front. Marines and medics just tearing through those Zerglings. And Zero knows that he's in a ton of trouble. Here comes Baby. Still just pushing through this front. And this front, remember, this is going to be very, very hard to break. But is able to do so nevertheless. And Zero GG's. Baby comes out with a win. Um... And that's pretty much game, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing the MSL Finals. Be ready for that. Be ready for more review stuff. And more StarCraft 2 stuff is on its way. Uh, I got to go practice for the SC2 Combat Tournament. That's going to be it for me. Lates.